Adventures all around you just have to look right before your eyes. Look, it's a book. Hello, my book buddies. It's Miss Heather here, ready to go on another reading adventure with you. Oh, I love these reading adventures. And this coming Saturday is another reading story time in the park if you are in the Oakhurst area. So follow the link in the description down below to go sign up. I had such an amazing time last month and I cannot wait to see you all back again at the park. We had a blast. It's going to be so much fun. So go sign up, link is down below. All right, oh, so we have got to shake our sillies out. I am feeling so silly today. So let's see, we should shake out. Oh, I'm actually feeling an itch in my nose. Maybe I have some nose sillies. So we'll start with our nose and we'll just kind of spread out like a flower, <gasps> opening up in the springtime. All right, so we'll shake our nose sillies out like the bunnies that come out in the springtime. And then if we had whiskers, we'd shake our cheeks whisker silly out. Can you do that one shake? Okay, one shake, one shake. I'm going And then our ear sillies out. Ear sillies. Ear sillies out. Ear sillies out. And then our forehead. Forehead. And then our hair sillies out. Shake those hair sillies out. And then ready our whole body. Shake, 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 shake. <gasps> okay. I do feel a little bit better. And the itch itch is gone too. <laughs> Don't if you get allergies in the springtime when all the beautiful flowers are blooming? It's hard. Sometimes it makes you sneeze. Achoo! <laughs> well, as always, I have sugar with me here today. Sugar, I'm so happy you're here with us today. Are you feeling a little tired? Are you having any allergies? I wonder if unicorns get allergies. Bartholomew, do you have any allergies? No? Well, I have both of them here along with my other reading friends. And remember that I post a video every Wednesday. So go down and hit that big thumbs up and click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our reading adventures that we go on together. But then... Oh no. Oh, do you hear that? Oh. It sounds like a little doggy who's sad. Oh, that little whiny cry. Should we check? Should we check in our treasure chest to see if we can help? Okay, I gotta put little brown bear down here. All right, you gotta count with me, see what we can see in here, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Look, it's a book. Oh, I like this book. I'm gonna take the outside cover. Do you ever get a book like that that has an outside cover just to protect it? I like that. I'm going to set that over there though so we can have this book. This book is called Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. <gasps> Do any of you have dogs? Oh my goodness. Well, I need to, before I read this book, give a special shout out to my book buddy, Elena. Elena, your grandma told me that you love to watch my videos and that you are one of my number one book buddies and that you love this book and that you got a special puppy at Christmas time. I think a little basset hound, right? Named Daisy. Well, let's see if this doggy gets a home just like you gave your puppy a home. So Elena, thank you for joining us today on our reading adventure. All right, everyone, do you got your reading buddies with you? We've shook it our sillies out. All right, let's go on an adventure. Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. Ooh, those look like stamps that you put on letters. Oh, he's cute. Dear people at Yellow House, woof, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with that. Oh, who's a good boy? I am sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. So he, Arfie's sending a letter to the house. Look, the carrier person's putting it in the mailbox. What do you think they're gonna do? Dear Arfie, oh, he got a letter back. We're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search, the Honeywells. Oh, they said their cat's allergic to dogs. 
Oh, that's sad. He looks a little sad. Don't give up, Arfy. Dear butcher lady. There she is. Can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. <gasps> Love, Arfy. Oh, I think he'd keep the floor nice and clean by licking up anything that would fall down, huh? So she's delivering the letter to the Chop Chop Butcher Shop. Oh, here we go. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Oh, Veronica Shank, butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck finding a home. Oh, so she gave him some little dried treats and he's eating them in his box. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, she can't give him a home either. Oh, where is he now? Dear fire station number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street and yours is the shiniest. Love, Arfy. Uh oh, do doggies go potty on fire hydrants sometimes? <laughs> they do. So the lady carrier, male lady carrier, is putting the letter there for the fire department. Let's see. Ooh, they typed their answer to him. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search, station number five. Oh, what is he about to do? Oh, Arfie's gonna pee pee on the letter, on the fire hydrant. Oh, Arfie, you're gonna find a home, I know it. Do you think he's gonna find a home? Dear junkyard guy, oh, there's the junkyard guy. I'm not gonna lie, you're my next to last choice. But these past few days have been rough. Rough, rough, rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. And he signs with his little paw print. This is the butternut dump. That guy looks a little grumpy. There's the letter carrier putting his letter in the mailbox. Dear Mutt, get lost. <gasps> That's not very nice. Ooh, what did Arfie do? He ripped up the letter and he's burying it. I don't blame him. That was very rude. Dear Last House on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell, but I'm not picky. Just lonely. Arfy. Oh, poor Arfy. Yeah, the house is a little broken down, isn't it? I don't see the letter carrier. Arfy, soggy box in the alley. It says return to sender. Nobody at this address, nobody lived in that house. Oh, he says, oh, he was sad. Poor Arfy. Oh, and he's in the rain. Everybody's running. And he's in his little box, hiding from the rain. What's that? There's a letter, it says, to Arfie. Oh, wonder who it's from. Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what, snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner with hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. Oh my goodness. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. Who wants to be his person? The letter carrier who kept delivering all his letters. Oh my goodness, so look, there she is. She's waiting by the big blue mailbox and she's waiting for Arfie. Do you think he's gonna come? He's running with the letter. Oh, look at, he's licking her face. Do you ever have doggies lick your face? It's so fun. They have big tongues, it gets really wet. Oh, look at that. And there's a heart. They love each other already. 
Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfi. Oh, scratch, 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 scratch. Oh, he likes that. Oh, they found each other. Here's how you can help a homeless animal. So if you get this book, it says you can adopt a shelter animal instead of buying a pet, volunteer at a shelter or a pet adoption, and then lots of other things that you can do to help animals. I love helping animals. So the end, and look, the letter carrier, Mitzi, and he is helping deliver the letters. Oh, the end. What a wonderful story. Elena, thank you for sharing that book with me and all of my other book buddies. That was so wonderful. And you guys can send me a message and let me know how you are helping animals, whether it's your own animal or other animals. My kids and I, during the lockdown when we couldn't go anywhere, we fostered kittens that needed help um, until they were able to go to their new homes. And so that was something that we were able to do. And that was a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me on this reading adventure. What a wonderful, fun story. I hope you all are having an amazing day and an amazing week. And I hope to see a lot of you out at the Oakhurst Park this Saturday at 9 a.m. for story time. Remember, the link is in the description below. Just remember, you are special. I like you and you should like you too. Now go out and go on your own adventure. You don't have to look far. Just open a book. Bye, my friends.